Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, Ala bi dhikrillahi tatma'innu al-qulub. Know that in the dhikr, in the remembrance of Allah, do hearts find tumanina, settlement. Not necessarily peace. Peace, yes, but in the meaning of settlement. Not peace in the meaning of happiness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not made the dunya an abode of happiness. We live a life of difficulty. Allah says that. Ya ayyuhal insan, inna ka kadihun ila rabbika kadhan famulaqih. O man, you are toiling a toil unto your Lord. You are struggling a struggle unto your Lord. We were born in pain. We live in pain. And we will die in pain. We were born in suffering. We live in suffering. We will leave the world in suffering. That's a reality of life. So what about happiness? Happiness are those few moments that puncture our life. Happiness are those few moments in between, like a gasp of fresh air, which allow us to feel happy in comparison to everything else. And as someone said, imagine if we were happy all the time, we'd be miserable. Allah has not made the dunya an abode of happiness. So when Allah promises that in the remembrance of Allah do hearts find itmi'nan, tumanina, settlement, we often translate that as peace. What's the meaning of that peace? The, pe the meaning of peace is not happiness, it's, it's settlement. Itmi'nan in Arabic means being settled, not being disturbed, not being unsettled, not being perturbed. And that's why the Prophet وسلم, despite suffering bereavement after bereavement and tests and trials in his own life, Prophet وسلم, was the most mutma'in, he was the most settled, the most content out of all of the servants of Allah, the one most at peace. But his peace did not necessarily mean happiness. Ibrahim عن, passed away. His children passed away. His sons and daughters passed away. He suffered bereavement after bereavement. One can't say he was happy on these occasions, but he was content with the decree of Allah. He was settled. He was at peace with the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, what happiness do we seek in contrast to the happiness of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? 